nation's most renowned scientists. As one Harvard professor is raising the theory, this may actually be a piece of alien. At first, it was only a faint traveler across the stars. Now Harvard and NASA say three IATLAS might strike Mars. The latest figures paint a future no one expected, an impact that could rewrite history. Suddenly, the silent red planet is no longer safe, and every eye turns upward, waiting for answers. Let's reveal what was discovered. The silent visitor Atlas III. The truth was discovered on a calm night on July 1st, 2025. In Chile, the Atlas Telescope Array scanned the skies as it did every night. Out of the many stars in the square, one stood out for its unusual behavior. It was faint, quick, and moved rapidly. This caught the attention of the system, which noted it as magnitude 14, a small flash compared to the brightness of planets and stars. The software analyzed the object, observed its path, and promptly labeled it. Initially, it appeared to be a typical long period comet moving towards the sun from outer space. However, there was more to the story than just that. Gemini South also observed the same area of space. The Hubble Space Telescope focused on the same spot and confirmed Atlas's findings. The coordinates were a match, a faint ring of dust was spotted, barely visible until the images were combined. The find was legitimate. A new object had entered our solar system, drawing significance and interest. Numbers were calculated all night. The orbit was shown with each line of data. It was not like the path of a comet. The track was hyperbolic and not connected to the sun. It was retrograde and moving in the opposite direction of planets. It had a steep tilt cutting across the solar system. It was clear that it was interstellar. The Minor Planet Center named it 3i slash Atlas the next day, marking it as the third interstellar object discovered after Oumuamua and Borisov. The news sparked excitement in the scientific community. Seeing a visitor like this was a rare event. The initial calculations were reassuring. The object was projected to pass by Mars without posing a threat due to the significant distance of almost 2 million kilometers between them. This distance meant that no spacecraft or missions on Mars would be affected. Additionally, while the object was moving at a high speed of nearly 87 kilometers per second in relation to the sun, this speed did not raise any concerns. Spectra were captured from a far distance, appearing faint and restricted. The data appeared to be typical, showing a coma filled with carbon dioxide and traces of water vapor. This object resembled a comet in appearance and behavior, fitting neatly into that category. Survey teams found it intriguing for scientific study, but not concerning. The discovery notes were concluded with a simple statement. The night of locating three ice atlas ended without any excitement. In the weeks that came after, there was more excitement. On August 7, 2025, the team at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory received new data about orbital dynamics. They worked alongside Harvard's astrometry group to study the path of something in space. After a week of looking at the new data, they had a clearer understanding of what was going on. The speed of Atlas remained constant at almost 87 kilometers per second, making it one of the fastest objects ever measured. Its rapid pace allowed it to travel from Earth to the moon in less than 80 minutes. Any slight alteration in direction could have a significant impact due to its high velocity. Even a small amount of force could determine whether it would pass by harmlessly or collide with something. Every day, the predictions for the positions of Mars and the spaceship changed as they were double-checked. The safe distance between the two was getting smaller. The gap between them decreased by hundreds of thousands of kilometers with each refinement of the calculations. Each time the numbers were updated, it seemed like the margin of safety was getting smaller. Something more difficult to understand followed. The experts noticed small, persistent discrepancies in the comet's path. These discrepancies were known as residuals, the leftover movements that couldn't be accounted for by gravity alone. Normally, the heat from the sun could cause these deviations as gas jets pushed the comet off course slightly. However, these residuals did not fit the expected patterns. They did not align with the usual explanations and remained as mysteries in the data. Atlas's trajectory began to coincide more closely with the path of Mars as time passed. With each new piece of information, it became increasingly aligned. This caused a sense of growing discomfort. Scientists ran computer simulations to see what would happen if an object in space was given a small push. They considered factors like outgassing or other unknown causes that could increase its speed over time. The simulations showed that even a small increase in speed could change a safe path into a collision. The outcome provided no reassurance. The data became more precise with each evaluation. It seemed like Atlas was navigating through the solar system very accurately, 
maneuvering between very narrow margins. Even a slight adjustment could change not only its trajectory, but also the future of an entire planet. The scientists in the room were pondering a new question. They wondered if it was just a coincidence that an interstellar traveler ended up so close to their world, or if there was a deeper meaning behind it that wasn't just based on luck. The stars did not respond. The information stayed as numerical data on monitors. The Pulse of Atlas. On August 14, 2025, a normal day in outer space took an unexpected turn. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter Science Unit picked up a sudden and intense change in a distant light, causing excitement and tension among the room's occupants. The brightness of the light doubled in a split second, not gradually or erratically, but in a clear and sudden jump in intensity, as if someone had flicked a switch. Along with this increase, there was a surge of ultraviolet energy that appeared prominently in the data streams, shining like a guiding light in the darkness. It wasn't just a random burst of light, it was a consistent signal. Both teams on Earth and Mars focused on the numbers, with their screens showing graphs and colored lines. They delved deeper, trying to decipher the hidden pattern within this unusual light. The response appeared gradually but forcefully. Carbon dioxide was released from the nucleus every 17 minutes in a precise and consistent manner, like clockwork. The intervals between the bursts were so accurate that it made the scientists observing feel uneasy. It wasn't just the timing that was important. The jets had a purposeful movement. They did not spread out randomly or wander off course. Each jet lined up perfectly with the orbit of Mars, almost as if someone had plotted a path in space and the comet followed it perfectly. This pattern continued every day, with the orbiter's sensors confirming the consistent rhythm by recording a series of identical peaks, each one matching the one before it. Even amateur astronomers who were using their cameras and filters were able to see the same puzzling sight. They observed three faint tails in the sky, which appeared as thin threads or scratches. These tails were visible and seemed to be aligned in the same direction towards Mars. The three streams or lines were pulsating simultaneously every 17 minutes, matching the timing noted by professional observatories. This has never happened before with a comet. Comets usually break apart and burn up in the heat of the sun. They are supposed to be unpredictable, not following a precise pattern, especially not while traveling through the solar system at such a high speed. However, this particular comet did exactly that. Teams who were focused on collecting data and studying light were taken aback by this unexpected occurrence. It went beyond their understanding and seemed to challenge their beliefs. The pristine gas jets did not align with the usual explanation of ice melting or cracks forming. Instead, they indicated a more complex system at play with a clear purpose and energy being controlled. The question emerged suddenly. Was Atlas just the most unusual comet ever observed? Or was there another explanation? Was it moving independently? One month later, on September 15th, the mystery got more confusing. At Goldstone, a secure line rang and a voice spoke softly. The message was clear. Radar doesn't bounce off ice balls in that way. The words sent shivers down the spines of the listeners. When the first radar waves were directed towards Atlas, the echoes that came back were unprecedented. The signals were distinct, loud, and weighty. They were not the echoes of dust, rocks, or ice. Instead, they sounded like metal. The original data revealed something shocking that nobody wanted to accept. The radar readings indicated a solid, dense object that was much larger and heavier than anticipated. Estimates suggested it weighed around 10 billion tons and could possibly be 400 meters wide, putting it in the same size range as the largest metallic asteroids. Despite its size, the object was moving at an incredibly fast speed, unlike typical asteroids in our solar system. The data entered the planetary defense systems quickly. Testing started and continued throughout the night. The outcome was serious. If Atlas were to hit Mars at a speed of 57 kilometers per second, it would release energy equivalent to 2 million megatons of TNT. This amount of energy would create a crater 60 kilometers wide and five kilometers deep on impact. It would also cause destruction to the land in a very short amount of time. The debris from the impact on Mars would not settle down. The computer models indicated that it would spread high above the planet, piercing through its thin atmosphere and sending fragments into space. The scattered pieces would pose a threat to satellites, orbiters, and communication systems that link Mars to Earth. It wasn't a threat to just a valley, mountain, or city. It was a threat to the entire planet, a global danger. The silent triangle beside Atlas, the Mars Express spacecraft from the European Space Agency, was conducting regular checks and had stored many images from years of observation. 
However, when analysts looked at some new images, they noticed something unusual. Three small points arranged in a perfect triangle near 3 i name slash atlas. These points stayed in place and did not move or spread out like other objects in the frames. It seemed as though they were deliberately positioned together. Almost immediately, discussions began. Some people believed that the lights might be bits of debris floating alongside the main object. Others thought they could be reflections caused by certain angles of light. However, the shape remained consistent. Each photo showed the same triangle shape, which was too perfect to ignore. In places where such images were analyzed, a feeling of unease grew. Debris typically moves randomly, but this was different. Evidence began to accumulate. Initially, Atlas's weight was more than anticipated. Then there were unusual bursts of energy, not seen in typical comet behavior. Additionally, the geometry was exceptionally precise, which nature seldom provides. Collectively, these factors indicated something out of the ordinary. The watchers could no longer dismiss this as mere speculation. Now, the focus turned to who or what could be controlling the object's trajectory towards Mars. On September 19, 2025, the top organizations in the world started to act. Behind the scenes, secure communication lines connected Darmstadt, Tsukuba, Moscow, and Beijing. Representatives of the European Space Agency, Roscosmos, the China National Space Administration, and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency came together on a call with a sense of urgency. They had no time for formalities. A fast approaching object left little time for making a decision. Atlas was moving through the solar system at a speed of almost 57 kilometers per second. There were only a few days left to get ready, not months. During that meeting, the first multinational team for an interstellar threat was formed, called ISO Object. Borders and disagreements were set aside as every win Everyone focused on the common goals of survival, understanding, and action. Divisions began to arise within the task force. Some members wanted to take aggressive action, even suggesting measures to confront the unknown visitor. On the other hand, some advised caution, concerned about interfering with something powerful and unpredictable. Acting without proper information could be dangerous, but doing nothing could also put the planet at risk. The debates continued, but there was no time for endless discussions. Technical teams worked tirelessly to analyze different trajectory changes, test models, run simulations, and find a solution that considered both risks and opportunities. However, because of Atlas's high speed, any small mistake could not be easily fixed. Every organization allocated resources for the cause. Stations were open for longer periods to track any potential threats. Simulations were conducted on a large scale, and plans for quick responses were developed. Legal experts worked on creating the world's first directive for dealing with interstellar threats. This marked a first in human history as we began to view space not just as a far-off place with stars, but as a place that could potentially bring visitors, possibly hostile ones, to our vicinity. Control rooms at JPL in California and ESASA's Red Planet desk were filled with silence. Controllers were looking at changing data on their monitors, filled with anticipation and anxiety. The rovers, Perseverance, and Zhurong, designed to withstand harsh conditions on Mars, were now witnessing something never seen before. They had transformed from scientific machines to protectors in an unpredictable situation. Forecasts described the upcoming events in a very clear manner. On September 26, 2025, the spacecraft Atlas would fly by Mars at a distance of 1.95 million kilometers. This was unprecedented as no natural object had ever passed by Mars at such a close distance and high speed. Various teams repeatedly analyzed different scenarios on their computer screens, exploring potential results. What if a tiny piece broke off from the main body and hit an orbiter? What if the tail of dust released gases that affected communication on Mars? Even if the danger cone passed by Mars safely, there was still uncertainty due to Atlas's unpredictable behavior. Every release of wang or energy changed the rules of the situation. Surface instruments switched to emergency settings, weather stations and seismic probes were put on standby. Detailed logs were kept, but the question remained, how do you get ready for something that goes against all known patterns? The initial prediction of a comet passing by Earth changed as new information came in. Recent data showed that the comet was changing its direction getting brighter at times, and releasing gas in a repeated pattern every 17 minutes. This type of behavior had never been seen before in the study of comets. The radar continued to show mysterious shapes. Sounds suggested there was something metallic. 
Satellites moving in space captured better views of the three shiny objects following Atlas in a perfect triangle. The strange objects shone brightly, appearing undisturbed, adding to their air of mystery with each orbit. Explanations became hard to find. Even with increased monitoring, answers remained elusive. Scientific publications did not provide any conclusive answers. Some radar data was classified and kept hidden because the information was too disturbing to disclose. The world waited anxiously as the unstoppable Atlas continued its mysterious journey. With each new discovery, more questions arose instead of being answered. Was Atlas a strange natural phenomenon or something more deliberate, possibly guided by unseen forces?